Hey everybody, it's Eric. Time for our video conversation of the week. A lot of work on tax reform, but I will talk more about that in just a little bit. One of the neat things I had the opportunity to do this week was meet with Maria, one of our DACA recipients that we have from the state of Minnesota. She lives in Bloomington. She told her story, a very inspiring story, coming to the United States as a very young child, growing up, graduating from high school, the first in her um, generation to go to college in her family, taking care of her mother and her siblings on a regular basis, and it shows the importance of finding a solution, which I support, for those DACA folks, 6,000 in Minnesota, who essentially know America as their home to stay here and be productive uh, citizens, either going to school, higher education, or employed, obviously, in our communities. Now let's get to our question. And the first comes from Pam in Eden Prairie. And she sends an email, Dear Representative Paulson, I urge you to vote yes on the Kana Massey bipartisan resolution to stop the unauthorized U.S. participation in the Saudi-led bombing of Yemen. These brutal attacks on Yemen have led to famine so severe that a Yemeni child dies every 10 minutes from malnutrition. The U.S. must end its complicity in this war. Thanks, Pam. Pam, actually, thanks for writing. You'll be glad to know that I voted in favor of this bipartisan resolution. It passed with 366 votes. It does make sure that the U.S. will not participate in the Saudi Arabian war against the Houthis in Yemen. And we have a, a further dialogue and discussion about this. Next up is a phone call I got from Pete and Mount. And Pete asks, Congressman Paulson, ignore what the others are saying and vote in favor of H.R. 1. Thanks, Pete. Well, what Pete is referring to is H.R. 1, which is also known as the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. It's the big tax reform initiative, which we spent a lot of time talking about in the previous weeks and months. That legislation also just passed the House floor. We are now one step closer to having comprehensive tax reform for the first time in a generation to truly grow our economy, make it boom again, and most importantly, also help middle-income families. I wish everyone a very wonderful, happy Thanksgiving weekend. Continue to keep on touch. Keep in touch on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or of course at the website, paulson.house.gov.